So, too much going on for me. I don't know about too much going on. I, we got Iran and Iraq and my mother-in-law. <laughs> my mother-in-law came over on the Mayflower. Not her family, her. In this presidential race, I've just had it. How many people have, how many people would like it to be over? Just over, right. As I speak, there are illegal immigrants streaming out of the country, saying, I can't take it anymore. The Supreme Court's gonna make a big decision about healthcare reform. The one thing I'd like to see come out of healthcare reform is a drop-off center for sick husbands. Is that too much to ask? You should see my husband when he's sick. He's there, I'm dying. Take me now, God. And I'm there, take him, take him, please. A woman can have a temperature 102, she's still out carpooling, am I right? You can have a temperature 104, you might be there flat on your back, but you're there at least, I'm losing weight. And I hate Congress. I think they're all worthless. All they care about is getting reelected. Do you know they have a 9% approval rating? 9%. You gotta wonder, how did it ever get that high? They have all these sex scandals. Remember Anthony Weiner? I love his wife. What was he thinking? He tweeted pictures of himself down there. You know, and I, okay, I'm happy when members of Congress know how to use social media. Oh, hooray, hooray. <laughs> But that's just awful, that's inappropriate. It was such filth, and, and I would never look at such filth. Except once, I just, I just, well, I just felt I should form my own opinion, you know. <laughs> and it was not unimpressive, yeah. <laughs> but that's just my opinion, okay. So, and, and I love the New York Post headline, Wiener pulls out, you know, you can't beat the Post. You cannot beat the Post, I love the Post. And when people think of sex scandals, they think of the presidents. I think the governors are the worst. If you look back over the last couple of years, right, we had Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger of California and his maid, Mark Sanford, the former governor of South Carolina. Well, who knew the Appalachian Trail ran through Argentina? Who knew? Who knew? And then Jim McGreevy, the former governor of New Jersey, he was having threesomes. Threesomes. I have enough trouble having a twosome. If I'm having a threesome, it's because Sister Edwardette is in my head going, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> and then there was David Patterson, former governor of New York. He had extramarital affairs. He has limited vision. I have all my vision. Nothing happens to me. <laughs> And for makeup sex with his wife, he takes her to a day's in. A day's in, honey, you may not be able to see, but she can. <laughs> and Elliot Spitzer, this guy, I was so happy when CNN took him off the air. So happy, because I would look at him, and all I could think of was $4,000, right? $4,000 for an evening with a call girl. Now, I'll tell you the truth here, there is nothing I could do for my husband at the end of which he would say, now that's worth $4,000. <laughs> and the guy paid cash. <laughs> cash, honey, if you use your Amex card, you get the membership reward points. <laughs> there's too much news, right? We got 24 hour news channels, half an hour specials, one hour investigative reporting. You know what? I can do the news in 10 seconds, right? I like to call it mothernews.com. Other networks say, we report, you decide. We say, look, we know nobody's listening, but we're gonna talk anyway. <laughs> so sit back, relax, and get your feet off the table. All right. And now for the 10 second news. Sean Penn went to Afghanistan, what an idiot. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie got engaged, who cares? And the weather, take a sweater. And that's it. <laughs> the 10 second news, thank you. All you need to know.